We're going to have a look at energy transfers today. We're going to be transferring kinetic energy into gravitational potential energy. Now, imagine if you can, a skateboarder is on one of them newfangled longboard things that all the all our students at our school seem to love. And he's travelling, let's see, he's travelling at a speed of 30 metres per second this way. Now, he's got kinetic energy. And we can't figure out exactly how much because we don't know his mass. The equation for kinetic energy is half mv squared. Now we want to figure out how high up this hill he's going to move. Okay, now so he's freewheeling along at 30 meters per second, and obviously he's going to slow down as he moves up, converting this gravitation, uh, sorry, kinetic energy into gravitational potential energy. Now it transpires we don't need to know the guy's mass anyway. Okay. Energy, under the laws of conservation of energy, is like a currency to do work. It allows us to do stuff. So we can transfer all of this energy into this type of energy, gravitational potential energy, assuming it was 100% efficient, which obviously it's not. But anyway, moving on, we look at this equation here. We don't need to uh, multiply both sides by m, so that kind of takes care of that. Uh, with a bit of rearranging, we can uh, figure out, make h the subject. So gh equals half v squared, h will equal half v squared divided by g. So all we've done is rearrange the equation to make h the subject, and this should be able to tell us uh, how high it's going to go. So if you take half of 30 squared and divide it by g, which is 9.81, you'll find out the number, uh, the answer, the height they'll get to is 45.87 metres. Now the question was given to us in two significant figures, so the answer should be the same. So the height that you'll actually reach should be 46 metres. Okay, now uh, assumptions that we've made, all of the kinetic energy will be converted in G into GPE, we've assumed that which wouldn't actually happen because of air resistance as he moves up, which is kind of ignored during AS physics, uh, conveniently. It's more like Angry Birds physics. You always get perfect parabolas in uh, flight instead of these sorts of more realistic flight paths, which include air resistance. And obviously friction. We're assuming this hill is frictionless, which is, again, nice and convenient, but all that's necessary at AS.